All right, um, welcome to my uh, channel here. I'm trying to go over some of the basics um, when uh, uh, getting into crypto. And uh, one thing I wanted to cover today was moving crypto out of your exchange, um, out of your out of Coinbase essentially, to another exchange, um, and just go over the very basics of how that's done. So um, when I uh, transfer funds to another exchange, I tend to use Ethereum. And the reason is because the transaction uh, is quicker and less expensive than Bitcoin, almost always. Um, I just wanted to show, um, this is uh, bitinfocharts.com. And it basically will tell you more or less of the current time what the average transfer fee will be. Um, if I zoom in here on three months, you can just follow this graph. It happens to be extremely high right now at uh, over $24. So I could have a fee of $24 um, on my transfer to an exchange. And uh, obviously, that's that's probably more than most anyone would want to spend when uh, three would be so much less. And just, just to show here um, what the Ethereum uh, transfer fees are on um, the same site. You can just click down here. Um, Ethereum transfer fee is about a dollar right now, which is really high for Ethereum. Um, but it's significantly less than you saw for Bitcoin. Just for fun, let's look at Litecoin here. Um, so let's take off Ethereum. And we're still looking at the last three months. The Litecoin, wow, everything is up right now. But the Litecoin fee is approximately... 60 something cents so it's even less i'm i'm going to do this with ethereum um uh still but just just so you know that's one thing to pay attention to when you're all right so another thing other side i wanted to show here that is relevant to what we're talking about is uh coinmarketcap.com there's a lot of useful information here um just looking at basic charts for the day you can go up here and advertise and organize by you know, percent change in the last 24 hours in bit uh, in Bitcoin or um, US dollar or Ethereum. So versus Ethereum's price, have these gone up or down relative to that? Um, but really, um, what we're talking about are, let's say we have a random crypto we've heard about and um, we wanted to purchase some. One thing we can do is go here and uh, let's say we wanted some Zcash you can go to, you can click on that and then go to markets and it will tell you um, the majority of, of exchanges that that particular crypto has changed, is it is uh, traded on. And um, uh, three exchanges that I think are halfway legitimate are of course Coinbase um, and then uh, Bitfinex, Poloniex and Binance. Um, those are relatively trusted um, and uh, yeah, basically wanted to just uh, show the um, coin market cap as a resource to find where you could send your funds to. Okay, so um, yeah, let's assume we want to get some Zcash and we've looked down and we've seen that we can purchase that on Bittrex. So I'm going to go through um, basically transferring some Ethereum to Bittrex and the steps that I use for this are going to be very similar on almost any exchange. It's also going to be similar to transferring to a wallet. Okay, so we're we're in uh, Bitrix here, and because that's where we saw we could purchase uh, Zcash um, on Bitrix, and uh, um, we want to transfer using ETH, Ethereum. So we have gone to clicked on the wallets, and it's brought us up to this page. We put an ETH here to search through the millions of, not millions, but the many different uh, all currencies that they have there, and to find ETH. And uh, we need to find, basically we're going here to find. What's the address that they have associated with, with your wallet? And so you click on the plus here, and this is what you're going to want to copy right here, your hex address. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that you copy the whole thing. Um, and uh, um, But that's basically what you need. And that's what, what you're going to use if you're transferring Litecoin. You would want to go search Bittrex for Litecoin and find this hex address. Um, and if you wanted to uh, transfer Bitcoin, you'd have to go to Bitcoin. Find that that address. It's very important that you're transferring um, uh, using the hex address for the coin, the exact coin type that you're transferring over. Basically, that's what we that's what we need there. So that's we're going to copy that. All right. So um, yeah, back in Coinbase here, we've gone to accounts at the top, and I'm going to go down to my Ethereum 
and I'm going to click on send because I want to send Ethereum. You obviously have to have a little bit of Ethereum in your wallet to be able to send anything. And I have a video on how to purchase Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, how to basically purchase um, on Coinbase if um, you need any help with that. But, but we're assuming you already have some Ethereum in your uh, Ethereum wallet here and you just click on send and you go here and you enter your uh, the exchange um, address we copied um, and you would then choose the amount that you want to transfer and you can either put the amount in um, Ethereum or in um, USD over here. I'm just going to transfer $10 just for just to show what it's like. And it will tell you here that I'm going to be charged 39 cents. So it ended up being a little bit less than that one chart. Um, it's not always exactly accurate. Um, and uh, so the total fee, what I'll be charged to transfer this $10 is $10.39. So I'm going to click continue. And um, it's making sure that I have this right. I would triple check to make sure you copied everything. Um, look at the front and the end, make sure both sides match. And uh, then you click confirm. And there you go. Uh, it's on the way. Okay, so I'm back in Bitrix here. And um, if you click on your, on a wallet, it'll if you scroll down partly down the page, um, you'll see this pending withdrawals and pending deposits. Um, what we want to look at is pending deposits because um, that is what we're doing is depositing. And it does take a while sometimes, um, but it will show up here. Um, that's what we're basically looking for to make sure that it's actually sending to the right address. Okay, so I um, just wanted to show here, you can click on your uh, transaction history here where it's saying sending, and you can go to um, basically click on that and it'll bring this up saying the address that you sent to, which should be that Bitrick ad address. And obviously not mine, you're going to have to click on your own. You can send it to mine, like I said, if you want. But I want you to do you any good. And uh, um, you can see the confirmations. I think I think it depends on where you're sending to, but I think it's 32 transactions oftentimes um, before it's considered a actually truly sent and fully confirmed. But you can see that um, uh, I do have two transactions or two confirmations um, by miners. And... Uh, um, it is being confirmed and it wasn't lost somewhere in the universe. Okay, so um, uh, it's never fun when you're trying to show an example and you realize that uh, some of your ignorance is coming out, but basically I haven't, I guess I never transferred this small of an amount before. And uh, uh, to Bitrix and I realized they actually have a minimum amount to transfer. So I was looking here Looking at my uh, pending withdrawals and, and they weren't showing up, but on Coinbase, um, it would show that um, the transaction was actually confirmed. Um, like I was showing you, you can check the, the confirmations and everything on your pending transaction. And I was like, how is it how is it sent there, but not shown up on Bitrix? And I do know that sometimes uh, Bitrix or certain exchanges are just slow. And even though the... Um, coin itself has actually truly been confirmed the site itself is just not caught up to what what's actually been um, done excuse me but uh um so anyway uh, i did a little bit of research it actually didn't take me too long and i realized that um yeah i was a little bit ignorant on how much it took there's actually a minimum amount of some of a lot of coins with bitrix and it's probably is not unique to bitrix there's a minimum amount that they will they like you to have before they'll show it in your wallet and if, if right in front of my eyes when when i go to ethereum here like i was showing you guys um if i click the plus to because i want to add to my wallet like i was just showing i uh, get my hex address here and then i just try to read right below it, it says your deposit address must hold more than 0 0.1 ethereum and basically my address as you guys can see here um, has zero dollars and, and by the way this right here um, is an app it basically converts uh, um, the Bitrix will show it in uh, a Bitcoin value it, it'll say estimated uh, BTC value right here and obviously I have zero amounts of any of these um, and uh, 
uh, this app right here will show um, uh, it in US dollar. I can also uh, change it to different currencies here. But uh, it's called, this is the app. Let's see here, just for fun. Uh, Bitrix Balances and Legal Currency. It's a Chrome app. I think if you uh, if you find that in the Chrome store, you can add it, and it'll show um, what mine did there. But uh, um, anyway, so anyway, so um, that is why I I uh, um, that may happen to you. So if you're, it is a great idea to. Um, test your wallet or your exchange, whatever you're sending to, with a small amount first. Do not send thousands of dollars or whatever worth of something until you actually know what you're doing. But realize that to do that, you're going to have to do more than the minimum, or you're going to freak yourself out. Um, and uh, um, at least for uh, Bitrix here, you can read underneath, and it will tell you um, the minimum amount underneath. It should tell you at least. I'm curious if any of these others. So here, here, this is Ethereum Classic I'm looking at, and you can read below, and it's also 0.1. Um, so yeah, it should say underneath um, the hex address uh, what um, the minimum transfer is. Anyway, so I'm actually, probably for this video, I think you get the idea. The process that I did was completely accurate. It was just too small of an amount. Um, and so I don't think seeing actual Ethereum in my account, it will show up here. So if I had transferred 0.1, it will be it will show 0.1 here. And if you have this this Bitrix app, it'll just show the US value USD the value in USD of what you have in there. Um, but uh, um, yeah, I think I, sh I think I showed the basics of how to do that. And uh, another thing, if this does happen to you and it doesn't transfer, all you have to do is transfer enough to get it over that 0.1, and your your transfer that's not showing up will show up with with your other one you'll get them both um once you reach reach that minimum threshold so anyway hopefully this was helpful um yeah this stuff isn't particularly straightforward like everything i do think once someone shows you how to do it it starts to make more sense i would double check things um it is easy to um you know click on the wrong wallet when you're transferring over i think that's something that people do that screws them over um, is um, depositing trying to deposit funds into the wrong you know one currency into another currency's wallet you may never get your money back there's no guarantee that you will um, so double check that and double check the whole address you have the whole address right um, anyway um, thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful um, and hope you have a good day if this was helpful give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos. Talk to you later.